I love this story because it always makes me smile. As it is a story of a 10-year-old boy who was asked by his uncle, between riches and wisdom, what would he choose? And the boy looked at his uncle and he said, I would choose riches. And the uncle was so crazy with this boy. Seeing the surprise in this uncle's face, this boy turned the question to the uncle and he asked, and you uncle, between riches and wisdom, what would you choose? And the uncle definitely said, I would have chosen wisdom. And the boy started laughing. And he said, it's fine. You know, each person is choosing what he doesn't have. So I chose riches because I need money. You know why you chose wisdom. The first reading is a prayer of Solomon when he took over the reign from his dad, his father. And he was confronted with a question by God, and God asked him, what would you ask from me? Now you have the reign. And Solomon did not choose wealth. He did not choose riches like this boy, but he asked for the for understanding to discern between what is good and what is evil. And this prayer, it made God so happy that this man asked for wisdom. And because of this, God gave him more than he, has, he had asked. And this question I would turn to you today and ask. If God today asks you this question, what would be your answer? Would you ask for long life? Would you ask that God should give us the vaccine for the COVID-19? Good health, riches, understanding, patience? What would you exactly tell God you want? Solomon asked for wisdom because he needed to reign. And therefore, we should not be shy to pour out our hearts to the Lord to ask what we need. To me, my prayer and those that I live and work with is to have a spirit of understanding. Be patient and able to ask for clarification before making any judgment towards another person. That's always my prayer. Because I've understood that a lot of enmities, it's because of misunderstanding. We don't have the patience to go and ask your Father, what did you mean when you said this? We just get angry, you know? Why he said this, you get angry. So that's my prayer. What would be your prayer today? There are some who would ask for a job. Others for a state to allow them to operate their businesses. Others would to be allowed to attend mass. Every positive prayer we make does not go wasted, but God will answer it in an opportune time. The gospel is a continuation of the teaching of the kingdom of God. The kingdom is compared to a treasure. And if we can understand how important it is, then we shall be able to abandon all that pulls us away from this kingdom. Another thing is that the kingdom is placed to us as a personal choice. It's not forced on us. It is a choice that you have to make. And the evangelist gives a very good example. He says that it's, a kingdom of God is like a net that catches many fish. But the owner must pull it ashore and sort them out. When sorting them out, if you ask every fisherman, they will tell you that you start picking from the best one. That is the one you pick first. So when we realize the treasure, then we acquire it. 
unless you attach some importance to the worship, you will never make it to the church because you will always have something which is more important than you going to church because you choose what is your treasure. Unless you attach importance to receiving the Eucharist, you will always find it easy, even living without the Eucharist. It will be an easy thing. What is your treasure today? St. Paul says that all things work for good for those who love the Lord and accord according to his purpose. The good we are seeking is not only material, but also spiritual. And this is the tricky part of our faith. We have to learn to balance between pursuing that which is material and that which is, which is spiritual. They all belong to us, but we have to learn to balance. 